So let's create our statuses table migration so we can migrate this and create our table within our database. And this is going to handle status replies as well. We're not going to have a separate table for this. So we're going to have a parent ID because a status technically is the same. It contains the same things, a body, a timestamp, an ID, and we can just relate them two together. But we'll look at how we do that later when we look at replying to statuses. So let's head over to our command prompt and generate a new migration. So we say php artisan make migration, and this is create statuses table. So once that's done, you can head over to this here and start to build up our schema. So we're going to say schema create the table is statuses. And as we've seen a couple of times before, we have our table in here. So we're going to have an incrementing column called ID. That's increments. We're obviously going to have a user ID because a status will always belong to a user. So integer user ID. We're going to have a parent ID, which is going to be for replies. We'll look at that later. And that's going to be nullable because a status isn't always going to have a parent ID because it might just be one status, not a reply to a status. And then we have our body text. And finally, we have our timestamps. And once again, for the down method, we want to remove this table if we roll back. So we just drop the statuses table. So let's run this migration. So PHP artisan migrate, and that will create our table for us. Let's head over to our database and just make sure that it all looks good. So over to our structure and everything is looking good here. So that is our migration created. Next, we're going to look at how we can, using the form that we see when we're signed in, actually create a status.